Dinagat Island province has been hardest hit. Their hospital has been uh, uh, damaged and we don't have staff because all their staff also has been affected. Patients stay in the hallway. A lot of the roof has been blown off. In the town of Basilisa, uh, uh, there are 36,900 population and only one doctor is there. In San Jose, there is no doctor. The villages along the coastal area, even the village health station was badly damaged. Basilisa RHU, their labor room has been damaged and the roof were blown off. Their laboratory has been damaged. So one of the unmet needs of the uh, province is referral of uh, emergency cesarean section. Uh, we found increased number of uh, diarrhea. This could have been related to contaminated water in their water system. In another illnesses is the upper respiratory tract infection which is increasing because the rain was continuous all day. There are increased number of dog bites. Tetanus toxoid is running out from their supply. Other illnesses among elderly is hypertension, maybe because of the stress from the typhoon. Is a need to support medical staff. We will have a substitution of health staff uh, four to eight weeks. Priority area will be the Dinagat uh, District Hospital. We will also provide two teams of mobile clinics with a mental health uh, support uh, to the different areas, coastal areas, and provide hygiene kit. There is an uh, urgent also need of mental health support among the people. Most of them are really, really fearful, especially when the rain hasn't stopped for how many days. They are all worried and they're fearful of their health because their house were blown off and they have no place to stay.